So are you sure Jeff said this meeting was at 9 a.m.? Definitely, it definitely began with a 9. Between the 9 and 10 o'clock hours, then. What are you going to do this weekend? I'm going to go apple picking. Oh, apple picking. Yeah. Raping Mother Earth. Whoa. For her trees. Who do you think plants those trees? I thought it was just, it was like kind of like a, like a geyser, like a natural occurrence. You thought that if someone owned an orchard, maybe maybe they own a house, and you know one day they hear like a weird rumbling, and next thing you know, bam, you know, oh my god, I'm I'm surrounded by this orchard. You You're know? apple rich all of a sudden. You're apple rich, yeah, like kind of like striking oil, but you strike apples. That's Red cool. gold. Yeah, I actually wrote a screenplay about that. It's about a, a guy, just, you know, an average guy like you and me. You know, he lives upstate. He commutes from Newburgh. You know, he just has this acre of land. And one day he wakes up, he hears a rumbling, it wakes him up. And uh, boom, he's surrounded by his own orchard. And him and his wife get back together after he becomes like this successful apple mogul. Yeah, women love apples. Women go crazy for apples. Apples and confidence are really the two things you need. But now that you understand that that's not how orchards work, do you think you're still going to be able to sell that screenplay? I'm going to have to tweak some things. Maybe it can just be a screenplay about a guy who plants a bunch of apple trees. Uh, that would go way over the 90-minute running time. You know, I want to have a nice tight movie. I can't, can't just be, like, waiting for trees to grow. So it would be real time. Yeah. You would... All the screenplays I write are in real time. So wait, the original version of the screenplay then, this guy gets an orchard mm -hmm. and he reconciles with his wife within the space of 90 to 120 minutes? Actually, 89 minutes. She lives in the house, like, next door. So it wasn't a really bad breakup. Well, the house next door is actually 20 miles away because things are really spaced out when you're upstate. But, you know, she drives over, he gives her a call, and they're both so happy, and they, they confess that they love each other. I kind of, I base the characters on my parents. So the scenario is entirely yours. Oh, yeah, yeah. That didn't actually happen where, you know, an orchard burst out of the ground. That, I mean, now I know that can't happen. My parents are still divorced. Just a shot in the dark. Did you write this screenplay when you were a kid? Yeah. Like, during the divorce? Yeah, yeah, it was a really rough time. You want to read it? No. I have a copy here. Email it to me. I have I have a copy here. No, I'll just email it to me. There it is. Um, I mean, you could just, you know, you could read some now uh, till Jeff gets here, and then... I'll take it home. I'll read it this weekend. You don't need notes or anything, right? Yeah, I need notes. 